guys I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are so today's post I'm back in front of the camera to share with you some fabric that I got from sew down Dewsbury which was a meetup that I talked about I think a, probably about six vlogs ago and it's basically where anybody was welcome really and we had to meet up in Dewsbury and we went to several Dewsbury shops like Fabworks, Lucky Fashions um, the Arts and Crafts Center and I got some lovely lovely fabric plus I also got to meet loads of wonderful wonderful talented women who sew who are so creative and it was just so much fun and we also had it was also the same day as the Moneta party the hashtag Moneta party which was quite big all over on Instagram and we had about 10 yeah, 10 women there were 10 of us turned up wearing our monetas and so we did a little video we had such a fantastic time and again i can't tell you how much fun we had i'm working on editing the vlog from the day and that should be with you quite soon but without further ado i'm going to share with you some of the fabrics that i bought on saturday which was yesterday because i'm fil filming the vlog today on sunday okay so the first thing that I'm going to show you is what I got from Fabworks Meal Shop. So what I actually did was I took along my little hand luggage suitcase because it has wheels so I could pull it along and I think that worked really well and I'll definitely be doing that in future. First items were from the remnants bin where you just basically pick up bits and then they weigh it and they sell it by the kilo. So all of this cost me six pounds in total. So the first one that I saw, it just caught my eye. It was this cotton jersey. This fabric is to make some dresses for my girls. I just, I love it. It wasn't the remnants bin. There wasn't enough for me, unfortunately, but I'll definitely be making some dresses for my girls. The other thing that I got from the remnant bin and I wore it straight away was this wonderful knit fabric of sorts. I, and honestly, if they had this still on the boat, I would have bought it. It's a nice, thick, substantial weight to it and it's a beautiful color. So I, when I saw this little um, remnant, I just thought, oh, this is a lovely scarf. And I was wearing this as a scarf for the rest of the day. Um, and that worked. And they had the same fabric in the blue and white and I thought I could make a nice snood with this as well so that's that one so I was quite happy oh no that's the wrong side it's this one and so I was quite happy with this Breton stripe um, style top so that was like off stripes I got this gray and red stripe jersey fabric this one was four pounds per meter. I got 1.5 meters of it and I am going to make some dresses for my girls because I love to, I really like seeing them in prints and in stripes and they also like stripes so that's quite good. I also got another fabric for another Moneta dress and <laughs> this one is loud unapologetically in your face. Boom! Roses, graphic roses. I what I really like about this fabric is it's got these bits of black, which means that in winter I could wear this with black tights and boots as well. But because it's against a cream background, I can definitely wear this in spring and summer. Now on the label it says that this is called a crepe jersey, so it's quite lightweight and it's got a I've never sewn with this type of jersey before so I can't comment on whether it's going to be good or not but I'll let you know once I sew it up. So this is going to be for a moneta for me. This was six pounds per meter and I got two meters. Okay, next that. up is some fa uh, some sweater fabric which has got a fabulous 80s retro vibe to it. It's a, let me show you the back of it first. It's a loop back and it's got a slight fleecy texture to it so I, you know, I expect that this will be nice and warm. and. Check this out. <laughs> when I saw this, I just started hearing 80s theme songs running through my head. And I bought two meters of this. It was seven pounds per meter. But I think that this is going to make some fabulous jogger pants for my children and a sweater top for my other half who actually, incidentally, when he saw this, he thought I bought it for him but it was for the kids but it's such a lovely fabric mm, lovely fabric okay. okay the final fabric that i got from fabworks is probably my 
favorite out of all of them and I didn't actually see this when I was browsing myself but when I was waiting to get my fabric cut out um, one of the ladies that was with us you know she rocked up with her bolt of fabrics and I saw this and I thought oh, it, it kept on calling to me and honestly I think it feels like this fabric and I were meant to be because it would have never caught my eye otherwise if Chris hadn't walked up with it then and I saw it and you know the possibilities started hitting me and I just thought and it's got such a beautiful drape to it right look at that that is so long <laughs> yes it is but it's a lilac and mustard it has this funky print to it I got three meters of it because I think I know I want to make a jersey maxi dress out of it because it's got if, this beautiful drape to it. Um, this one was seven pounds per meter and I got three meters of it so I was very very happy with that. So those were my fab works purchases and I think I did really well in terms of being quite restrained as far as I'm Next concerned. Next up after fab works we went to Lucky Fashions and oh boy did I have fun there. I did. So the first thing that caught my eye there was this fabulous absolutely amazing jersey fabric which is also got all these various tones of blue and I love blue so much this cost four pounds forty per meter and I got four meters yes I think I got four meters of this because I, I love this I want this in a dress I want this to be a top I would also love some leggings with this so I just I bought four meters of it so I'm very very happy with that one okay the next one that I got from Lucky Fabrics was this beautiful quasi snake print viscose jersey I like the colors the greens the oranges the teals it's got a good stretch recovery to it and I just thought that this will make a fabulous jersey maxi dress. See, my head is already thinking ahead to spring sewing. And I think that this is going to be a fantastic addition to my spring wardrobe. So that's how I know the pattern that I really want to use for this one. Um, and as soon as I get around just with some sewing time, I'll be making it. Okay. And then the last thing that I got from Lucky Fabrics <laughs> was this some more jersey i think I, I picked up quite a lot of jersey this time around but i have reached the conclusion that i love sewing with jersey more than i do with wovens for now <laughs> is this purple brown black it's got a jungle feel to it but it feels incredibly soft and it's got a good stretch recovery and i think this will make a nice wrap dress and when I get round to it. Um, this was £4.40 per meter. This one was also £4.40 per meter. So all in all, that was a good haul, I think. And I, I know that given that I spent all day shopping for fabric, because I got into Dewsbury at 9, 9.42 in the morning, and I left it around 4 o'clock. So the, this was very restrained and it was good fun <laughs> it was so much guys, fun guys i really hope that you've enjoyed my fabric haul from jewsbury if you enjoyed the video then please give it a thumbs up down below if you haven't already then please subscribe for new sewing related videos every week and until i see you next time happy sewing bye